In a sombering reminder of nature's unpredictable power, the recent eruption of Mount Merapi in West Sumatra in Indonesia has unfolded into a harrowing tale of survival, loss and resilience. Unfortunately, 11 people lost their lives as they were climbing the mountain when an eruption suddenly occurred. This volcano has actually erupted for a second time, showing just how volatile this situation currently is. It's horrifying to think that there was no warning of this eruption and of the preceding second eruption that occurred. The volcano is heavily monitored, but it showed no signs of an impending eruption. During the first eruption, a pyroclastic flow was unleashed from the volcano's falling ash plume, and it travelled a short distance before coming to a halt. Lapilli was thrown out of the volcano, which rained down on a nearby town, and a plume of ash rose into the sky to a height of 6 kilometers or 3.7 miles. In a matter of a minute, this pyroclastic flow travelled 3 kilometers to the north-northwest of the volcano, decimating any life it came across. At the time, some 70 people were actively hiking on Mount Merapi, and unfortunately 11 of them have been confirmed deceased. This is the largest eruption that has occurred on Mount Merapi since records began. A spokesperson for the local rescue agency emphasised the resilience of search efforts amidst the volatile conditions. In contrast, Abdul Malik from the Padang Search and Rescue Agency reported that 26 individuals were still unaccounted for, out of which 14 have been located. Earlier on Monday, 49 climbers were rescued and treated for injuries, including burns. The volcano, which erupted with ash plumes, stranded many climbers, spreading ash over nearby villages. Post-eruption, two climbing routes were shut down and residents were advised to maintain a distance from the crater. Unfortunately, this volcano has erupted again for a second time since the initial reports were posted. Indonesian officials have temporarily suspended the search for 12 missing climbers on Mount Merapi following the new eruption which propelled hot ash up to 800 meters into the sky. This pause in the search comes after the recovery of 11 climbers' bodies yesterday, with further efforts being impeded by the volcano's renewed activity. The operation is expected to resume once the conditions are deemed safe. Merapi, which erupted on Sunday releasing clouds of hot ash, has maintained a high alert level since 2011, signalling increased volcanic activity and restricting access to within 3 kilometres of its peak. Despite these restrictions, around 75 climbers ascended the nearly 2,900 metre mountain on Saturday and became stranded. Of these, 52 have been rescued, including 3 on Monday. Eight of the climbers rescued on Sunday required immediate hospitalization for burns and other injuries. Before the climb, all climbers had registered at designated command posts or online. However, the exact number of people potentially stranded remains unclear, as some might have used unauthorized routes and local residents could also have been in the vicinity. Sunday's eruption saw Merapi discharging ash clouds up to 3,000 meters high, covering nearby villages and towns in volcanic debris. Social media videos show climbers with faces and hair coated in volcanic dust and rain. Authorities have been distributing masks and advising the use of protective eyewear due to the falling ash. Approximately 1,400 residents live on Merapi's slopes, in villages about 5 to 6 kilometers from the summit. The recent eruption was not preceded by a significant increase in volcanic earthquakes, making it difficult to predict using standard equipment. Merapi, known for its regular eruptions since 2004, is one of over 120 active volcanoes in Indonesia, located on the seismically active Pacific Ring of Fire. This eruption was a phreatomagmatic one, meaning magma from the volcano and groundwater made contact with one another, which flashed the water to steam, pressurizing the volcano's magma chamber. Once this pressure reached a certain point where it outweighed the pressure exerted on it from the overlying rocks, it was able to erupt without warning. We'll continue to keep a close eye on this and we'll be sure to update you as things progress make sure to click the subscribe button and hit the bell icon to be notified of any updates. Thanks for watching.